Welcome back to Weekend Morning. It is cold and windy and rainy to say the least. You can see the American flags whipping in the wind right now at the National Fairgrounds in Perry. Overcast skies, maybe some rain coming down right now in Perry. It is 42 degrees. So that being said, keep the heavy coat on you because it's feeling more like a few degrees above freezing. That's because we have those winds coming really strong out of the east. Right now in Macon, we're at 41 degrees, but you can see all the cold air right behind this low pressure system right here in Alabama. 18 degrees now in St. Louis, 11 degrees in Omaha, Nebraska, 36 in Little Rock. So people behind the cold front are struggling to stay above freezing or well below. That is going to be our future as we head into your Sunday night into Monday. But for now, let's enjoy the nice weather kind of we have right now in terms of temperatures. 35 degrees now in Monticello, 38 in Sandersville, 43 in Wrightsville, 43 in Dublin, 41 for both Macon and Warner Robins, 50 for Cordial and Americus. Now, these temperatures are not going to last long, nor do they feel warm like the 50s there in our southern counties. That's because we have winds really blowing out of the east, gusting up to 30 miles an hour this morning. So make sure you have your trash can inside because you do not want to have an argument with your neighbors this morning about why your trash is in their yard. On top of that, we do have a wind advisory until 2 p.m. today for wind gusts up to 40 miles an hour and we do have a high wind warning there in the metro Atlanta area. Now on top of the cold air plus the winds, it's feeling even colder, feeling more like 24 degrees in Eatonton, 32 in Sandersville, 32 as it feels like temperature in Macon. So again, get the hat, the scarf, the gloves, everything today because it will be a cold one. Now, right now on live radar, we do have a new band of rain coming through from the southwest into central Georgia. That is just bringing some light to moderate rain. No mixed precipitation at this time, but you do not have to look far to find that mixed precipitation right there as you head down the I-85 corridor there in the north eastern parts of the metro Atlanta area. We're going to be a little too warm to see that and we may just stay just a little warm today to see that as we head into the afternoon. Now, the low pressure system will start to slide to the east and we're going to get some more rounds of rain. So we're going to enter a dry period for your lunchtime. Temperatures will be somewhere in the mid 40s for places south and east of Macon, but upper 30s if you're north and west of Macon. So the temperatures are going to be all the difference in what kind of precipitation we get. But for right now, we're expecting a cold rain, maybe some mixed precipitation for our extreme northwestern counties, including Lamar, Monroe and Upson counties. OK, that's because they're going to be a little bit colder than we are anywhere south of that. So cold rain comes back again as we head into your afternoon and evening. Temperatures dropping throughout the day into the 30s and then we're going to even drop further than that as we head into Monday morning. Now, the black ice could be a possibility as well, but the graph model is still holding on to the chance to see some flurries in central Georgia. I don't think we're going to see that here, but again, it's still a possibility. Same with the GFS, still hinting at the same thing, but otherwise, let's just expect a cold rain for now. Temperature is going to rise into the upper 40s for MLK Day. We're going to be back in the 60s by midweek with rain chances returning then as well.